What's going on everyone, this is Gaines Gaming. Today we are going to be talking about farm accounts and whether or not they are worth it for your account. So as you can see right up here, you can see how many resources I have. I am pretty low on resources. However, I do have a lot of farm accounts. And so today we are going to be looking at all my farm accounts. We're gonna be draining out all of the resources, including everything in the bag on all my farm accounts. So we're going to open up everything and show you guys exactly what it looks like to have farm accounts so you guys can decide whether or not it is worth it for you to invest in farm accounts. So here is my first farm account. You can see on this one, I did have in 1079 a little bit longer than my other accounts. And so I do have quite a bit of resources saved up from when I was in KVK. If you guys remember, I was streaming a little bit in that KVK, sending some troops out on this account, but this is my 31 million farm account. And so I do have some resources saved up here. And then I do, like I said, have plenty in the bag as well. So what we're gonna be doing today is opening up everything I have in the bag and showing you guys exactly what we are going to get from these farm accounts. And we will show you guys exactly the detailed amount of resources that we got from all these accounts combined. And one thing I do wanna clarify is that I do train T4 troops on these accounts. And so that way I can send them to die in KVK. You can see I have over 1.2 million T4 infantry. And so I do prioritize training T4 on all my farm accounts. If you did only train T1 or you didn't train troops at all, it is going to drastically increase the amount of resources you can send to your main account. But I wanna make sure we are clear that these are fighting farm accounts. And so I do send these troops to die in KVK and intend on killing off pretty much all these troops every KVK. And so when you do train T4 troops, you are spending quite a bit of resources on those troops as well. So I wanna make sure you guys are aware of that too. So that way we can kind of talk about the balance between a farm that's just there to farm and a farm that is there to fight and farm for your main account. So first of all, we are going to apply to the alliance here that I need to get into, and that is gonna be S79. So we're going to apply to that alliance, and then that way we can transfer our resources to my main account. All right, so we are in here, we are in S79. So now we can go ahead and open up all of our resources and we can see exactly what we have here. And then we will calculate the amount of resources we have from each farm account. So we're gonna first go ahead, we'll open up all of these tokens here in resource form. And I will be opening up gold for all of these pick one resource chests because that's probably what I'm gonna run out of first in KVK. So first of all, we're gonna open up all of these. These are from Hitting Barbarians. And this is why I say Hitting Barbarians on farms. Even if it takes like 20 seconds a day, I mean, it really adds up over time because I mean, 190,000 of this, it's not a ton, but it does add up over time. So we're gonna go ahead, so it's 3 million of pretty much each resource besides, you know, gold, but it does add up over time. So we're gonna go ahead and open up all of these here and then we'll finish off with the rest of our tokens and the chest from hitting barbarian forts too. So we're gonna open up all these and see those resources going up pretty quickly here too. There we go. Then we'll go ahead and open up the level two resource packs from barbarian forts. It's gonna give us about 20 million food and wood, which is awesome. And then obviously, like I said, we're gonna use these for gold. So we're gonna open up those, same thing here. Same with these ones. I really don't need any resources on my farm accounts right now, and that is why I'm doing this. And so now we can go ahead and we can open up all of these. We are gonna uncheck this so it's a little bit faster. So we're gonna open up all these. This is 130 million food. You can see that food going up real fast. Open up all of those. The 50,000 food, 150,000 food, 500,000 food, and then 1.5 million food. So you can see we did just gain about 400 million food right there. Then we can go ahead onto wood, open up all of these. There we go, we'll go onto the 10,000 wood, 50,000 wood, 150,000 wood, 500,000 wood, 1.5 million, and then 5 million. So now our wood also really, really good there. Go ahead and do the stone here next. Stone, I don't need as much because, you know, I'm mostly an infantry player, and so I don't use as much calves or archers. That puts us at just under 300 million stone. And this is really what I want to see is the gold. So we're going to go ahead and open up all of this. We are at 96.8 million. So we're going to open up all of these. Go on to the 3,000. There we go. 15,000, 50,000, 200,000, and then finally 600,000. And that puts us at 283 million gold. And then we can go over here and we can open up some of these as well. So we're going to open up all of our supply boxes. We have 700 of these. This will give us some resources here too. So we're gonna open up 700 of these supply boxes. This will give us some resources as well. Just gonna open up all of these. 
This will give us some resources, not a ton, but some. So we're going to open up this, it's about 2 million of each. And then some stone. Open up our bone necklaces as well. So also give us some resources, a little bit more from the bone necklaces and some gems, which is awesome. We're going to open up all of these as well. And then we do have these red packets. And I know I did talk about this in a video previously that having farm accounts is going to be huge for these red packets, which is with the seasonal event that we have right now, the joyful holiday, you're the rabbit, whatever you want to call it. And so you're able to send these lucky red packets to your alliance members. And so we're going to be able to do that and we'll be able to accept it on our main account. So right now I'm on my PC on this account. You can see this is my main. And so I am actually on my phone here as well. And so you can see I do have control at the same time on both accounts. And so we are going to go ahead and send it in alliance chat and we are going to accept it with our main account so that we get the rewards right away. So we're going to go ahead into here. You're going to send the lucky packet. We're going to be ready on my main account as well. So we're going to hit send. And then we're going to accept it immediately. And then just wait on my main account. And so on my main account, you can see if I go right back into a chat, you can see I did accept it here. It's funny how Lyric beat me to it, even though I was the one expecting it. So uh, we are going to go ahead and open up all of these packets here. So we're going to go ahead into here. Same thing. There we go. I got a silver key on my main account. So we're going to keep on going here. We got four more to do. So we're going to send it with my farm. Got 50 gems on my main account. And I really don't care what I get on my farm account. It's my main account that I care about. And so we're going to continue to send these. Got five gems on my main account. We got two more of these here. And I actually did not even get it on my main account on that one. My, my phone was lagging a little bit. So I actually missed out. Looks like Hippo got the best of it with 100 gems. So now we have one more here to finish off with. So we're going to finish here. We're going to make sure my phone is ready. And my phone must just be slow because I missed it again. That's interesting. I might have to restart my phone because I missed it again, which is crazy. And I guess these people are also expecting it because I just sent six. But now we can go into here. We also have these Year the Rabbit chests to open up. And we do have enough to get it. You have to have 50 to contribution points. And you get those from hitting barbarians. And those are going to give you coins. And so you can turn those coins in, uh, the remaining copper tokens. So you can trade in those copper tokens to get some of those chests. And so now we're going to be able to open up all of these and get some more of those currency. We can trade those in for pretty much anything. Um, with my farm accounts, I'm going to trade in for anything I can send over to my main account. Obviously, I did buy all the red packets I was able to with the currency that you get from here. So we're going to open up all of these. And thankfully, I'll be able to do this on all my farm accounts because I haven't hit any barbarians. So now if we go into here, this is where I bought all the red packets from right down here. And so I was able to get all these without spending any gems. Now I have 29 of these rabbit packs. And so I can use these for pretty much anything. But what I'm going to do and what I would recommend you do on your farm account is going to do resources. And so you can send yourself resources. I'm going to buy all 29 of these that I can afford. So we're going to do that. And then we can open that up into some resource chests here as well. So we're going to open this up into gold. And then we're going to claim all of these. And so we're going to claim all these resources, all the gems. And then now we are able to send all the resources over to my main account. All right, so now we can send all these resources over. And so I'm going to skip through all of this just because this is going to take a little bit of time. And so I will be right back here once I finish sending all these resources over and we will go right over to my next farm account. All right, so this is my second farm account. And so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go to each of my farm accounts because I realize this is going to take forever if I detail every single farm account here. And so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go farm to farm and I'm going to open up all the resources here, all the tokens, and then I will send all the resources off a of video. And then I will come back at the end of the video and show you guys exactly what I got from all these farm accounts. So that's what I'm going to do here. I'm going to start off with the supply boxes, get these all open up. So 596 here, I'm going to open up all these, get some resources, some speed ups, go over to the bone necklaces, same thing here. And then we also have these crusader supply chest so we're going to open up 53 of these this is from kvk rebuilding the crusader fortress and i did have these saved up so we're going to open these up and see what we get here so we did open up 53 we get some action points which is great get some speed ups individual credits 
not a ton of resources, but just some extra stuff there. And then we were able to open up all of these resources. We're gonna open up all these. You can see the resources right up here if you wanna keep track. And then like I said, at the end of the video, I will detail all the resources I got from all of these accounts and then show you guys exactly what you should expect from having multiple farm accounts. And so um, right now I have seven farm accounts and I'm probably not gonna go much higher than that. And so that way you guys can kind of see like what you should expect if you have two farm accounts and you're somewhat active on them, you can kind of divide the resources I get by however many farms you're gonna have or multiply it, whatever you wanna do with that. And then that way you can kind of see what you should expect from having all these farm accounts. And so we're gonna finish up opening all these resources and then we will head over to the next farm account. And so we will finish off with the stone and the gold here. You can see the resources climbing up real fast, which is awesome to see. It's kind of crazy just spamming this opening everything. So you can see the resources we're up to here, cleared out everything in the bag. We'll head over to our next farm account. So here we are on my next farm account. We're gonna do the same exact thing here. We're gonna open up all of our resources, starting with the supply boxes, 516 of those, giving us some resources. We'll go on to the bone necklaces there. And then we also have our Crusader supply chest. And open up all of these for some resources, some AP, some gems, which is great. And then we'll go ahead and go into our resource packs. So we're going to do the same exact thing here. And I feel like with each of my farm accounts, it's going to go down and down further because the later ones are going to be the ones that got here last. And so it's going to be a little bit less resources on hand, but maybe some more resources in packs. It's going to be kind of interesting to see how this all goes. But obviously, I will be doing mostly gold here for these pick ones because, you know, that's what I'm going to need the most in KVK. And depending on what KVK we choose to do, this next uh, register will really depend on what I'm going to be using. And so... Um, I do have mostly T5, I do have some T4 on my main account, but I will be using mostly T5 in this next KVK. And so obviously gold is gonna be what I'm gonna be lacking the most in that KVK if I'm using mostly T5, which is the plan as of right now. So we're gonna be getting as much gold as possible. That way we are stacked when we get into KVK. So you can see my end resources right here. And then we will head right over to my next farm account. This will be farm account number four, but my gains farm five, just because I did just name my farms two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, even though my farm two is really my farm number one, it's just account number two. So that's kind of how I named them. I know it can be some, some sometimes kind of confusing. And so I always tell people that's kind of what I mean when I say farm three or farm two or whatever. Um, it's just, that's the number of the accounts that I have. And so um, that's kind of the difference there. So we'll go ahead and do the same thing here. We'll start with the supply boxes, 593 of those. Getting some good keys there as well. This is 1,013 bone necklaces. So as I said before, I'm going to have a little bit more of other items on these next accounts. So 1,013 bone necklaces. This is from the Lohar's trial event. 1,000 gems. Good amount of resources here too. Really, really good. Um, some speed ups here as well. Arrows of resistance, which is great for this account. And then we'll go ahead and open up all these. So like I said, a little bit more resources here saved up on hand than some of my other accounts. So we'll open up all of these. I don't know about you guys, but this is just really satisfying to open up all this stuff because I hoard everything. And so opening everything up is just, I don't do it very often. And so it's fun to finally do for once because I never get the chance to do this. And seeing my resources go up so much is just a pretty fun sight to see, you know? <laughs> so it's uh, it's fun being able to do this because I don't get to do this very often, especially saving this up for like a couple weeks on end and not opening any of this stuff is just, it's hard to do, but there's my end resources there. We'll head over to my next account. All right, so here we are on my next account. We'll get some troops going here as well. Like I said, I train T4 on every single account here. So you can see the resources, they do add up. This is about 500,000 food and 360,000 stone. So it does add up over time. And so that's something I'm taking into account with all these accounts as well, is that the resources could be a little bit higher if I wasn't doing that. Then we'll go here, bone necklaces, not as many on this account. Must have opened them at some point. And then resources here are very low as well. Not really sure why, but we'll open up all these anyway. And we are gonna go ahead and choose gold. This one is a newer account here in the kingdom. And so, and this is actually might be one of my newest accounts. So this might be why the resource is a little bit low. Um, but 
Still gonna drain it entirely because, you know, why not? Might as well, right? So we're gonna go ahead and transfer all these resources here once I finish getting them all out of the bag. And then we can see this is our final resources. Pretty low on this account. So we'll go ahead onto our farm seven. These were the last two accounts I migrated into this kingdom. So we're gonna go ahead, jump onto this account and see what we have saved up on this one. It'll be interesting to see because these were my last two I had in 2247 that I just migrated here. So these have only been here for like a couple weeks, maybe like 13 days or so. Um, so definitely not as long as my other account. So we'll go ahead and train some troops here and then go right into the resources. So we'll see here, we have 562 supply boxes that we'll open up here. Get some resources, some keys, some speed ups, 92 bone necklaces there. And then resources here, we'll open up all of these. You can really see how farming barbarians on all these accounts really adds up over time because like all these hundreds of thousands of resource packs that you get just from hitting barbarians really adds up. And same with resource packs from doing barbarian forts those really add up here as well. So make sure you guys are doing that in your farm accounts. And I've made videos on how to optimize them. If you guys want an updated one, let me know down in the comments below, but it's really, really worth it because I mean, look how much this all adds up that you're sending to your main account. It's just crazy, crazy how much value you can get from these multiple accounts that you just, you can't get if you only have one account, you know? So having multiple accounts, it, it has its pros, it has its cons. Um, does take a lot more time and so it's something you have to take into account that it's, this does take extra time but being free to play being low spender you have to be able to make that sacrifice because you're not spending money and so obviously if you're not spending money you're going to be spending more time and so that's something you have to take into account with these farm accounts is that it's not it's not all going to be easy because you have to make sacrifices in some way and it's either buying resources buying bundles or spending the extra time to send out your gatherers every day, like taking the five minutes for every account, whatever it takes. Um, for me, it's probably like five minutes a day total that I spend on my farms. And so it's really not a huge investment. I mean, it, it's five minutes over the course of the day, not like five minutes at once. Like I maybe like will log in, send out the farmers and then just log right back off. Or maybe if I have extra time, I'll go hit some barbarians that are like right next to my city. Like right here, I could hit these two, these three barbarians in like 20 seconds and then log right back off. Um, and so like little things like that really add up um, on these accounts, especially during events like Lohurst Trial or the supply box events um, to build up these, these events. This is 587 supply boxes. Those gold keys really add up here as well. I've done a lot of videos and live streams opening up gold keys and stuff like that. I actually just had one um, a little while ago um, opening up like 6,000 gold keys and, and crystal keys. So if you guys haven't checked that out, make sure you guys go watch that because that was like a long time saving up uh, different keys on these accounts and having those multiple farm accounts, like I said, it really adds up on, on this value that you get, um, especially when you want to be like a, a T5 fighter and you want to have the resources to sustain yourself. It's just, it's hard to sustain if you don't have farms, honestly. Like I don't really understand how people are low spend or free to play and they don't farm they don't have farm accounts they don't prioritize farming they kind of just you know they just farm with their main account i don't understand how they get by i mean that's probably why kill points are so low or they just can't really sustain fighting very long um and so it's just having these farm accounts really makes a really big difference so make sure you guys are prioritizing that and with these new inscriptions too i mean i just go ahead and, and just do random ones every day i mean I also try to get these sage testimonies on these accounts so I can upgrade the state for them because right now obviously I'm not going to spend a ton of gems on them because I don't have many gems. So make sure you guys are prioritizing stuff like that. It takes a couple seconds a day um, and just really adds up over time. So we're going to go ahead and be able to send off all the resources from all these farm accounts and then I will tie it off at the end of the video and show you guys exactly what we got from all these farm accounts after taxes and everything like that. So. Make sure you guys stay tuned for the end of the video and I'll be right back. Two hours later. All right, we are back now after finishing draining out all of our farms. And so you can see right here, we have now 2.3 billion food, 2.4 billion wood, 1 billion stone and 1.2 billion gold. And so in total, I wanna show you guys what it looks like here in the total rankings. 
So I did take screenshots of every single time I brought my farms over. So you can see right here, we do have the different rankings of the different farm accounts. And so you can see I did donate 1.78 billion from my second farm account, 1.26 billion from my third farm account, 1.07 billion from my fourth farm account, 985 million from my fifth farm account, 165 million from my sixth farm account, 712 million from my seventh farm account, and then 762 million from my eighth farm account. And so I did just pair all these screenshots together into one so we can see it a little bit easier. And then finally, we can show you guys the total rankings overall. And so this is the total resources I got out of all the farm accounts. So in total, I got 2,237,421,000 food, 2,327,000 food, 2,338,228,000 food, wood 998 million 631 thousand stone and then finally 1 billion 172 million 373 thousand gold and so that is the total resources i got from all my farm accounts and this is from a variety of different lengths and so in total i had four farm accounts here that were here before i migrated in and the final three i migrated in later and so I had four farm accounts that have been here in 1079 for about a month farming resources and then obviously from hitting barbarians as well and then getting those just daily objectives and getting different resource tokens and then my final three farm accounts were the ones who i migrated afterwards from 2247 and then they have just been farming for just about 10 days in 1079 and then obviously still the tokens from hitting barbarians and barbarian forts and all that kind of stuff and gathering all of these items that i showed you guys that we cleared out on all of my farm accounts. And so that is the total amount of resources I got from my farm accounts. I will most likely drain again before we enter KVK. Not quite sure what we're gonna be doing when it comes to registering for KVK. We might be registering this KVK. We're not really sure yet. We are still voting in our community discord. And so I will make sure I keep you guys posted on that as well, but we'll make sure we drain out all of our farms before KVK so that we can actually make a second video of what to expect to get from your farm accounts from an entire KVK's worth of hitting barbarians, farming, and everything like that. And so make sure you guys stay tuned for that video. Let me know down below how many farm accounts do you guys have in your kingdoms and how many resources do you guys pull down from those farm accounts. If you guys enjoyed the video, please drop a like and subscribe. This one took a long time to make, so I really appreciate your guys' support. Looking forward to see you guys in the next video. Have a good day.